Another aspect of fitness that happens with a lot of individuals is they get very, very hungry and overeat on a lot of different things. So let's look at some ways to avoid overeating and gaining weight. I first want to look at some of the worst foods for dieting. These foods are specifically high calorie and low in volume. So what that means is that they have a high amount of energy in them and they don't have a low amount, uh, or they do rather, have a low amount of actual food volume. So they don't really fill you up. Foods like this are usually very low in fiber, very highly processed. They have a lot of preservatives. They're usually high in fat and carbs together. Super easy to overeat. Um, peanut butter is one example. Um, peanut butter is actually fairly healthy, but the thing about this is it's very high in calories. One serving is uh, peanut butter, it's two tablespoons, 200 calories in that thing. That's literally like that much peanut butter, you know, tiny bit, a little bit of a spread, 200 calories. I could eat that whole jar of peanut butter, no freaking problem, no problem. Dressings, super high in fat, very low in calorie, um, um, excuse me, very low in overall food density. Um, sauces in general, usually high in sugar and fat. Uh, candy in general, very low in fiber, very high in sugar and fat, uh, highly processed. Pastries, prepackaged snacks, high fat meals, even frozen dinners, all those things, usually very low in fiber. They're highly palatable, very easy to overeat on, and basically they don't give you that many calories for how full they make you feel. A lot of those foods, you need to eat a large portion of them before you actually feel full. And this is a huge issue. Let's think about soda too. In a can of regular soda, there's 140 calories roughly for just one can of soda. So if you're somebody who's drinking that, do you feel full after a can of soda? A lot of people, no. And you just consumed 140 calories. This is the same thing for juices as well. Juices don't have any fiber in them either. So those are things that you can really, really quickly overeat on and overconsume on. They don't really fill you up, don't make you feel satiated or full, and can lead to some huge dieting issues long-term and lead you to gaining weight and overeating. Instead, some of the best foods for dieting are the complete opposite. So very low calorie foods that are also high in volume. Um, diet soda, I'm gonna look at the flip side of this. Diet soda is one that has zero calories in it, but there is a little bit of carbonation in it. So if you think about it, it does kind of fill your stomach up a little bit. Uh, and for a lot of people, it's a great tool to kind of curb some of those cravings and not overeat as much. Of course, you can also just drink some water at every single meal, that would help too. Uh, Sugar-free pudding and jello, very, very high in water content in those, very low in sugar, base, uh, virtually no sugar at all, just some uh, artificial sweeteners. Um, high water fruit, so stuff like watermelon, stuff like cantaloupe, uh, trying to think of some other ones here, strawberries, blackberries, blueberries. Basically, if you type online high water fruit, I gave you a couple ideas there. You can, oh, apples, another good one, very high in overall water content. Um, basically, those types of fruits are already full of water, as in when you eat them, they're very hydrating, so they're going to uh, keep you not dehydrated, and dehydration can actually lead to kind of fake hunger, so they're going to keep you hydrated, but that water is filling up your stomach as well, plus it's got fiber. Plus it's got fiber, so a lot of different things with that. Veggies, kind of the same thing. They got some good fiber in them. They also have a little bit of water in them. They will fill your stomach up more, make you feel more satiated, make you more full. So you're not gonna be tempted to eat all of those high calorie things. Uh, on top of that, getting some lean meats in. Protein is very satiating, but I do wanna warn you, you wanna try to get leaner meats that don't have a high amount of fat in them. Because those higher fat ones, of course, they're going to uh, still have protein in them, so you're gonna feel full, but it's gonna lead you to overeating on a lot of extra calories. So those extra calories are where we often get into trouble with those specific things. High fiber grains, these are just going to be something that have uh, fiber in them, so maybe whole wheat bread, some whole wheat pasta. Oats are an amazing whole grain. Um, popcorn's another one if there's no butter on it. That also too is a very good low calorie, high volume food that you can eat on a diet. 
and then some low fat dairy. I love Greek yogurt specifically. Um, and actually like zero calorie ones. There's those Dan and Light and Fits. Those are a really, really good one that you can try out for yourself. Uh, super good source of protein, which is satiating. And it's also just a lot of food. I don't know if you've ever eaten Greek yogurt, but you know, after I eat one of those, I feel pretty, pretty satiated, pretty, pretty full. Um, some more quick tips too. And if you're finding value from this and learning something new, please give the video a like. Some more quick tips that we can look at is to literally only eat when you're hungry. And this is kind of like a duh, like, of course, Logan, I'm gonna only eat when I'm hungry. Well, a lot of people eat when they're bored. A lot of people eat just because certain time of the day. And, you know, if you truly kind of look at your hunger signals and see if I am really hungry right now, and after you do that, then you're like, okay, yeah, I am really hungry right now. And I actually am gonna eat. That's okay, that's perfect. That's kind of the idea with mindful eating. Limit your junk in your home. There's such a powerful thing that can happen if you simply limit the overall amount of food in your home. And this is simply because if you don't see it, you're not gonna think about it. You're not gonna be triggered to eat it. Uh, so some really good advice there when you're setting up your home environment, literally don't bring anything in. Um, leverage caffeine when needed. Um, and also using workouts to blunt hunger. So these are two really cool uh, pieces of dieting advice. So uh, caffeine blunts your hunger. I'm not saying pound a bunch of caffeine, but caffeine in general can help your hunger uh, not feel as hungry. And then also when you work out for a lot of people, usually 30 minutes to an hour after the workout, especially if you do some intense exercise, there is certain hormones that are released that basically you're not gonna get as hungry. Um, it will happen about an hour or so after that. You might be ravenously hungry, but for the most part, shortly after your workout, you're not gonna be hungry. So you could really time this and use this to your advantage where you have a little bit of caffeine, a little bit of workout, and boom, you're gonna crave some of your, um, stop some of your cravings. You're not gonna be as hungry. You're gonna be good to go. Uh, and then also using water before every bite. This could be literally as simple as drinking a glass of water before every meal, or literally drinking a uh, little bit of water before every bite. That's gonna fill your stomach up, make you feel more full. It's also gonna help with keeping your body overall hydrated. And as we just discussed, uh, sometimes when you are dehydrated, that can actually lead to quote unquote fake hunger. Um, and fake hunger, you know, it's obviously real hunger. You feel hungry, but uh, it's interesting because sometimes being dehydrated can actually make you feel that way. 